Later today, the singers will be debuting their Welsh choral song on live television. They must conquer their stage fright once and for all because they can't afford to forget the lyrics this time. To ensure this doesn't happen again, Gareth pulls them together for an emergency rehearsal. Really badly want this to be good. If they don't pull off a fabulous performance today, how are they going to do it on Children in Need? It would take a miracle. If they know the song inside out, they stand a better chance of conquering their stage fright. Well done, boys. The hard-working boys have got it, but will it be the same for the girls? They need this performance to be good. There's no more time to get better. This is not the first time the girls have become distracted from the music. Everybody has to have a say. Just get on with it. I want you to look good. I don't want you to stand there live going, looking at the ceiling. The girls still need help getting into this classical style. Blake are a Brit award-winning harmony group who sing a mix of classical and pop. They've performed at concerts and sporting events all over the world and know exactly how to deliver this traditional music with style. <laughs> Will a last-minute visit from these special guests help to focus the girls? It's about confidence, it's about enjoying it and feeling it and, and you know it gets better and better through practice and through experience. If you feel like you're very good at what you do then when you walk out on stage it's no problem at all but if you feel like you're walking out on stage and you don't know what you're doing then yeah you can understand why people get nervous. How many of you know what adrenaline is? It's like a little rush on. Like, it is a little yeah. bit like a rush, it's, like it's actually a, a chemical that goes through your body and it's designed to make you run away when you get scared. But in actual fact what really good performers do is they use that chemical inside their body, that rush, to make them perform even better. Yeah. So if you're feeling a little bit on edge and you can feel your skin kind of tingling a bit, that's a good thing. It means you're going to do the best performance you've ever done. And now it's the time. All that work and all the belief that your friends and family put in, this is when it's going to show. You either run away or you fight. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't just stand in the middle going... <laughs> yeah. I thought Blake were fantastic because they absolutely understood where those guys are because they were there themselves once upon a time and they understand how to perform and they gave great advice. Meeting Blake was absolutely awesome. I love Blake. I I've heard them before and I really liked them and they come in there and I was like, oh my God, they're there. I really like doing music. <laughs> Singing an unusual style of music can be daunting, but these celebrities know it's all about staying true to your roots. If you're doing something that's totally different to what other people are doing, people might not like it, people may like it, but you've just got to be yourself, really. When I was having to sing in front of my year group, and they must have thought I was mad because I was the only one singing classical music when probably I should have been singing pop. In fairness to them, they were really supportive. Do, 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 do. With only moments to go until their live debut on BBC Points West, Gareth and the group are called down to the studio for a dress rehearsal. Save my this is the first time they performed in a live TV studio and everyone is feeling the pressure. Fidget, fidget, fidget the whole time. Taylor, are you listening? Yeah. Can you look at me? What I'm seeing is that you're looking at all of this stuff. None of this stuff matters. The only thing that matters is all through the night. Yeah, that song. We've worked so hard over the last nine weeks, but it doesn't matter a jot if they can't pull it off in front of live audiences. And ultimately, this is all about a TV audience. Going live on BBC News is... <gasps> Oh, really scary. We have to like concentrate and just think it's us and the camera. As every celebrity have told us so far, like, bad rehearsal, good performance. I just hope that's the case. <laughs> it's a live show and you've got to put on something good that people will find entertaining. Whether it's like 300,000 or 11 million, it's got to be something good. This is it. As the local news goes on air, the group nervously wait for their cue. They have a huge challenge to sing live on national TV in front of millions of viewers on Children in Need Night. I think they'll get through it, I think they'll sing it, but would it make someone who is Welsh have a tear in their eye? Would it be something really to be proud of? That's what I'm interested in. I want it to be excellent. Now, a real first. The first performance on live television by the newly formed special Children in Need Choir. 
all of them have something in common. They are terrified of performing. In their first choral session, Tia couldn't sing in front of the group. Now she must find the nerve to lead them. Have a good evening from all of us here. Over to you. Sleep, my child, and peace attending Ah, he Soft and drowsy Oaths are creeping Hill and veil in slab We're sleeping Tia ah, makes it through her solo without faltering A huge achievement can the rest of the group maintain it? What a result! The once desperately shy soloist Tia has led the group, pulling off their most difficult challenge to date. So, 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 so awesome! Hip, hip! Hip, hip! Hip, hip! Hip, hip! Hip, hip! Hip, Well done, well done. <laughs> I just got to scream more. <laughs> I'm just so hyper right now. Oh, I'm buzzing off it. <laughs> yes! I am so happy about that. Brilliant.